Need to make a tall bubble elevator but you don't want to drown? There is a simpler and safer way than planting kelp or hauling water buckets. Make your elevator shaft the usual way, digging down or building up. I'm building mine up and in glass so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, and make sure you have a safe way to easily get down to the bottom. At the bottom of your shaft, place a piece of sole sand as normal and find some way to stop water pouring out later. You can use fence gates, trap doors, a door, whatever takes your fancy. Now take a silk touch pickaxe and go collect ice. Plain old normal ice, not packed, not blue, just ice. You can get it from an ice farm or a frozen biome, it doesn't matter. Collect enough for the full height of your bubble elevator plus a little more, just in case your count was off. Back at the bubble elevator, step into the shaft at the bottom, jump up and place an ice block on the sole sand. Continue jumping up and placing ice until you get all the way to the top. Now drop back down and get out a pickaxe that isn't silk touch. This is really important. You want to break the ice, not pick it up. Break the two bottommost ice blocks. When ice is broken, it forms a water source block, which the sole sand can immediately fill with bubbles. This also means that no matter how long you are in that water, you are not going to drown. Now look up and start breaking ice. The bubble elevator will push you up and provide you with air at the same time, making this process a breeze rather than a stress. You can now make a bubble elevator to whatever height or depth you want without drowning once. 